Today I'm going to be talking to you about white blazing. How many of you have been to the Smoky Mountains? Okay, quite a few. Alright, awesome. The Appalachian Trail runs through the Smoky Mountains and it's the world's longest hiking only trail. So today I'm going to be talking about three things. The background of the Appalachian Trail, history of the Appalachian Trail, what to expect on the Appalachian Trail. First question a lot of people ask, how long is the Appalachian Trail? The Appalachian Trail runs from Springer Mountain in Georgia all the way up to Mount Cahad in Maine. The trail approximately is 2,100 miles. It's going to average that just because some people like to get off the trail. And it runs through 14 states. And why I call this presentation white blazing is because within every white blaze, that's how they mark the trail, you can see another white blaze. So you technically don't even need maps. Ways to hike the trail. There's northbound. So you're going Georgia all the way up to Maine. This is the most popular route. The other one is southbound. Starting in Maine and hiking the 2100 miles all the way back to Georgia. And then a flip flop. So you're going to start somewhere in the middle, hike to Maine or hike to Georgia, and then go back to where you started and do it the opposite way. And then section hiking. A lot of people do this just because they don't have six months of time to take off. So you're just going to hike a section here or there and then hopefully make up the whole trail. So the history of the Appalachian Trail. So in October 1921, Benton McKay went public with his proposal for the AT. 1937, the 2100 miles was completed. Myron Avery was considered the first person to hike all 2100 miles. And then 1948, Earl B. Schaefer was the first reported through hiker. So in 2014, every mile of the Appalachian Trail was considered to be part of the National Trail Systems Act, which is a huge deal for the environment and also the trail. That way coal mining and oil and stuff can get involved and corrode the trail. A uh, cool story, Grandma Gatewood, also known as Emma Gatewood, was the first woman to hike the trail through hike it technically. Uh, she completed the hike three times, 1955, at the age of 67 was her first through hike. And then also for the apparel for hiking, everybody today is all lightweight. Grandma Gatewood said, nah, that's not for me. She used a knapsack and some Keds. So what is it like to hit the AT? On average, it takes six months. Some people take four. Some guy just completed the record in 45 days. It's all just a matter of how fast you want to go. So the biggest th challenge is elevation change. You're on the AT, Appalachian Trail. Um, that is Appalachian Mountains. It's a huge mountainous system. The people you meet on the trail, it's just an amazing group of people. They all want to help each other out. They're all there for the same thing, just to through hike the whole thing and just enjoy the time out on the trail. So trail magic, some of you may ask, what is trail magic? Trail magic is people leave stuff out on the trail, like drinks or snacks or whatever. It's almost like a lifesaver out there. They call them little fairies in the woods. So the completion rate, according to AppalachianTrail.org, out of 3,800 people attempting to go northbound, only 307 people made it. And for southbound, 497 started in Maine, only 12 people made it to Georgia. So, thanks for sticking with me today. I'm glad I could express my feelings for the Appalachian Trail and teach you a little bit about the history of the Appalachian Trails, the different ways to hike it, and what it's like hiking the trail. So hopefully next time you're in the Smokies, you can go out and see a white blaze and follow them for a little bit. If not, maybe I inspired you to even through hike the AT. Thanks for sticking with me. And there's a reference page for you.